Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. This short video will be showing you how to safely store your Ethereum Classic, your ETC offline in a Tracer hardware wallet. So in this demo, I'll be showing you how to access Ethereum Classic through the Tracer desktop suite and how to send and receive Ethereum Classic with your Tracer hardware wallet so you can safely store it offline. So first things first, you're going to make sure your Tracer device is currently plugged into your computer so you can access it and make sure it is unlocked. That way you can see exactly what I'm seeing here on my screen. Now, basically, I'm on my dashboard here on the Tracer desktop suite. I'm logged in. And if I go down to assets here, you can see I've enabled all of the available coins that I can uh, actually access directly on the Tracer desktop suite. And for this demo today, we're going to be using Ethereum Classic. For some reason, if you don't see Ethereum Classic here, all you need to do is go to Enable More Coins, and you just need to click and highlight the green check mark. That way, it is enabled. Once this is done, you can head back on over to Dashboard, and you'll see Ethereum Classic pop up. So now that we have Ethereum Classic up on our Tracer Desktop Suite, we can now receive some Ethereum Classic from an exchange to safely store on our hardware wallet offline. So I'm just going to click on Ethereum Classic. And you'll see now we're in the Ethereum Classic number one account. You can choose to rename this account if you'd like. I'm going to leave it as default for now for this demo. And now I'm just going to hit Receive ETC. And you'll see your address pop up here. And you can choose to hit Show Full Address. Once you do this, it'll give you your full Ethereum Classic address, the original Ethereum chain. And you can just double click on this and hit Copy. What you should always do is make sure that the uh, the receiving address here is the exact same as on the device. So at the moment, you can go on over to your Tracer device, make sure on the screen it shows the exact same address as this. If it does, hit the green check mark. Once you hit the green check mark, you'll see the copy address pops up, and you can just copy that that way if you choose to do it that way. So now that we've copied it to our clipboard, we can minimize this and head on over to Mandela Exchange, where I'm going to withdraw some Ethereum Classic. All right, now we're on Mandela Exchange, which is a Binance Cloud exchange. It's a smaller exchange, which I currently use right now and that I like a lot, uh, mainly for the no KYC up to 2 PTC per day. Um, it's one of the main exchanges I trade on, uh, so that's why I'm using it in this demo. Okay, so for Ethereum Classic to withdraw, you can see that we have a couple of chains here that we can withdraw from. Um, basically, for this demo and for the Tracer Desktop Suite integration, you're going to use the Ethereum Classic network. Uh, if you wanted to use a different network, you could do that uh, by using a wrapped version of Ethereum Classic, which we're not going to do. Um, so for our withdrawal right now, you're going to make sure that we are on the Ethereum Classic network. And you're going to paste in the address, which you just copied from your Tracer device. And then once that's in, you're going to hit the maximum amount, which is what I want to do right now. I'm just going to move some of these zeros. And then I'm going to submit my uh, Ethereum Classic for withdrawal. And I've successfully withdrawn our ETC from Endow Exchange, and we can wait for our Ethereum Classic to arrive in our Tracer hardware wallet. So now we can head on over to the desktop suite and wait for them to arrive. And now we're back on Tracer desktop suite. You can see my Ethereum Classic has made it to my Tracer hardware wallet. It is now in my account. If I choose to unplug my device and put it away, my Ethereum Classic is now safely stored on my hardware wallet offline. The main reason why I do these videos is to educate people on the fact that they should be taking custody of all of their own crypto assets and should never be leaving their funds on crypto exchanges. As big as some of these exchanges are and as safe as you think your money is being on them, you know, seeing millions of people using those platforms, it's always best to not take the risk and make sure that all of your crypto assets are in your control and only keep what you need to trade daily on exchanges. As we've seen recently with FTX, it doesn't matter how many users, millions of users are on the platform. All it takes is, you know, one day of something serious coming out and an exchange like FTX can then freeze withdrawals, go bankrupt, and your money is essentially gone. So again, educate yourself in the crypto space, become your own central bank, and take control of all of your own assets. All right, so now we have our Ethereum Classic in our wallet. If we want to send it back to an exchange or to another wallet, this is how we're going to do it. But before we jump into that, if you're enjoying the content you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps me bring you guys more content more frequently. All right, so let's send some Ethereum Classic back to the exchange. So I'm going to just leave my received tab here and head back to the main account area for Ethereum Classic. And I'm going to choose now to send. So if we hit send here, it's going to ask us for an address to send our Ethereum Classic to, the amount, and then a fee to generate, and then we will review and send our transaction on our Tracer device before sending it. So now we need an address to send to. So I'm gonna go back over to Mandela Exchange here, 
and you'll see I'm currently on the Ethereum Classic Network. Once again, make sure when you're sending your funds from the Tracer device, you are on the Ethereum Classic Network and not on one of the other ones. And now you just copy this address. We minimize and go back to Tracer Desktop Suite. We paste our address in. If it says it's not valid, all you need to do is hit Convert to Checksum Address, and it will then be valid. And then now you just choose to send the amount of Ethereum Classic you want. In my case, I'm going to choose the full amount. And then I'm going to see the fees generated down here below. I'm just going to choose normal for Ethereum Classic. And then I'm going to hit review and send. And now you're going to see the address you're sending your Ethereum Classic to, the amount, the fee, and the total amount. If this matches everything you're seeing on your Tracer, you can just hit the green arrow. And then you can hit hold to confirm. And once you do this, it will send the transaction. And you can just hit send on your screen. And now your Ethereum Classic has left your Tracer hardware wallet and is now on its way back to the exchange or to any uh, address you've uh, signified in that transaction. So you can see now here that the amount that I've received earlier, the 2.46 Ethereum Classic, has now been sent back to Mandela Exchange. And that is the end of this demo. I've shown you basically how to set up your Ethereum Classic account uh, to make it viewable within the Tracer Desktop Suite. I've received Ethereum Classic from the exchange and I've sent it back. And that is exactly how you would use your Tracer hardware wallet to receive Ethereum Classic coins and how to send them back to an exchange uh, after you are done holding them safely offline. Once again, if you're enjoying the content you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again, and take care.